let's get started then. So. Seems like real gold. Hmm. I guess we're off to a good start. Is this dragon can hide by chance? Pretty rare stuff. Do you know a uh, hunter that is for hire? I have a client who is in the business for some hide, for some crafting purposes, if you know what I mean. All right, this'll do. All right, well, let's get started then. So, as you know, you can't get this kind of sweet delicacy here in Stormwind anywhere. All they have here is mutton, beer, potions for these fools going into these dungeons and temples, but I've got what you really need. Good old fashioned, sweet, savory, Unlike anything in the rest of Azeroth. As you can see, it's got a good look and a good sound, which lets you know it's good. This 
particular delicacy, believe it or not, is from the Barons. Good old fashioned chocolate covered raisins. A delicacy in that area. How'd I get them in Stormwind? You ask too many questions. <laughs> Filthy rats, I thought I heard something. These are made with milk chocolate, of course. The raisins are grown in the more arid portions of the barrens near the mountains. You, you know the place. Yes, with the, with the raptors. Dangerous to gather. So, would you be interested in some of these chocolate-covered Komodo milk chocolate raisins? Of course, I knew you would. Here, don't eat them all in one place. Let's move right along. Next, I have a more ambitious type of treat. As you can see, we have a rainbow colorful gelatin sour type of candy. This candy is all the way from Ashenvale. You know those elves and their magic. I don't know exactly how they produce such rare and exotic treats, but from what I've told, been told, they have a interesting property that allows them to boost whoever consumes them. Their agility for a short amount of time. Someone of your reputation might find such things valuable, if you know what I mean. What do you say? Of course. Of course, allow me. <clears throat> you never can be too careful, even here. Next up, I have a very interesting piece of sugary goodness. All the way from the Dark Moon Fair. And as you know, this time of year can be quite difficult to find. These are dark fair peanuts. A firm yet delicious marshmallow type candy. These are highly sought after and widely consumed on the black markets here in Stormwind. And even dare I say, in Orgrimmar, from what I hear, of course. Oh no, I, w I wouldn't do business in such a place. You, you know me. I can assume that these dark fair, dark moon fair, have you, peanuts are to your interest. <laughs> Very well. Enjoy. Do you know what these are? <laughs> I doubt it, but you are a rather perceptive guest in this alley, I think. These are gelatin sharks all the way from the coast of Kalimdor. These gelatin sharks are sweet, 
soft, very easy to chew. These are favorites of the goblins. I know even as far as Ratchet, these are found in the back streets. But here in Stormwind, I do not think you will find such a, how should I put this? frowned upon item. So, of course, I knew you would like these. Allow me. Next, as we seem to be doing quite well together, won't you? Would you agree? These are some of my personal favorites. As you can see, the red striking color and rough texture remind you of what? If I gave you a guess. The burning steps. How wise of you to say. These from the fires of the steps themselves are forged. We call these burning step beans. Allow me. Inside each of the hard candy shell is an Eastern Kingdom peanut. Yes, grown in the area of Westfall and imported by our infamous friends, the Devias Brotherhood, all the way to the Burning Steps, where they are forged for our enjoyment. As you can hear, the sounds are quite nice. Yes, take a good listen. Did you hear that? Even this time of night, these streets should not be this busy. Were you followed? Be sure. Do you know who I work for? You wouldn't think about double crossing us, would you? Hmm. I should think not. Let us continue. So, would you like to take home with you these burning step beans? Perfect. Let me place them on your person. Please do enjoy. I have one more sugary treat to show. These are somewhat of an acquired taste. These Little friends are quite popular with those beasts in Thunder Bluff, from what I am told, of course. I wouldn't know firsthand. But these Torin peppermints, as they are called, are quite sweet at first, but do leave quite a bite towards the end of their journey across the palate. They dissolve quickly on the tongue, but do leave quite the lasting impression, given enough time to develop. They are known to cure even the slightest of 
lingering taste in the mouth, but may indeed soil any additional flavors you are looking to enjoy at the time of consumption. So, what do you say? They do have quite a enjoyable sound, don't you say? No, not today. You can't win them all, I guess, even I can't. So, you uh, have quite a bit of candy you've now purchased for yourself. Can I offer you in a sweet beverage to go along? Of course, allow me to reach into my cart. One moment. This, my friend, is the best of the best. Huckleberry delicious vintage soda. This sweet but tart beverage only enhances the taste of the treats that you have already purchased. And may I say, may go nicely with the Ashen Vale sweets that you decided to purchase. Its huckleberry flavor will pair perfectly with the tartness, the sour flavors, and gelatin finish of the Ashen Vale sweets. And I think you will be pleasantly surprised what do you say? I have more, but you can't go wrong with Huckleberry. Of course, allow me. Any more? Of course, of course. That's what I like to hear. Next up, I have a perfect old fashioned cream soda. Now this, if you allow me to indulge you here for a moment, I know you're busy, as am I. I, uh, not to travel to the whore territories, no, no. Just to further the enterprise. This cream soda has a perfect sweet but smooth blend of flavors from across Azeroth brought together to perfectly stimulate the senses upon contact with the palate. Now, I would suggest a pairing with the Dark Fair Peanuts or perhaps the chocolate covered raisins. The semi-sweet finish pairs nicely with a more tame candy flavor from those two selections. What do you say, my friend? Of course, I thought you would like it. I have one more, if you will. Perfect. Allow me. Now, this cherry cola Deliciously vintage, just like the huckleberry, made from the same province, but procured from a separate portion of the Eastern Kingdoms close here to Stormwind in the Yellowwind Forest. I think you would find the mix of the cherry with the pop of the cola to be both challenging and satisfying. Now, if you would allow me to be so bold to make another suggestion, I would suggest mixing these with the gelatin sharks. The blueberry flavor mixed with the cherry and the cola, I think makes a wonderful pair and can be enjoyed by even the most hardened 
of disciplines in both diet and taste. So, what do you say? Perfect. Allow me to place it in your pack. So, I see that at first I may have been slightly suspicious of someone like you that I have never met, but I can see that we may become quite well acquainted, seeing as how much you loved the wares that I had to offer. Now, I have many drop points all over the Azeroth realm, but if you find yourself in Stormwind, you can contact me exactly how you did this time. And this alley is where we'll meet. But before you go, if there are more illicit taste that you find yourself in the mood for on this type of evening that may be even harder to find than the candy that you've already purchased and you would not mind spending more gold I have a fresh shipment with me but I won't bring such rare items out here if you want to possibly take a look you can follow me inside and I'll show you the members only items in my collection I think you'll be quite impressed I thought so Okay, quickly before anyone sees us, let's go. Mm -hmm.